Hello everyone, so welcome to Long EduTech, especially the student community. Today I brought here in my channel a video about the question answer for comment. That means that my students give the comment and I'm going to give the uh, reply for all those questions. Yeah, so without wasting the time, let us start the questions. So first the question is given by the Sabasa. Sabasa uh, asks the question, sir, how does NO2, that is the nitrite, and get its negative charge that means minus charge yeah answer for this question is here okay okay so here comes the charge of the nitrate and how we can find out so let us see here for this nitrate ions here the nitrogen is in the middle and the two oxygens are here okay so two oxygens i can draw in this way and as we know that nitrogens Nitrogen has the atomic number, how much? That is 7. The atomic number question, that is 2, 5. It has 5 valence electrons. And that of oxygen is atomic number 8. That comes to 2 and 6. That means 6 valence electrons. Okay, so in this case, what happens? These oxygens want to get octet configuration by getting 2 electrons in its outermost cell because it already has 6 electrons. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. All right, already six, right? But at the same time, this nitrogen also having what I call this is the five valence electrons. So nitrogen, it's here, it's two electrons. Okay, so we'll represent by the cross electrons here along with the nitrogen, I mean the oxygens, right? And at the same time, what happens? Nitrogens, in this case, nitrogens will, what will do? It will share one electrons with that of the oxygens. Let's see here, and oxygen also will share one, Two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Look here. In this case, nitrogens and oxygen. This oxygen get a stable configuration. Here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That means it have eight electrons in its outermost cell. So at this time, this oxygen get stable. But at the same time, the nitrogen share two electron. Then it will nitrogen also want to get a stable configuration. So then, what happened to get a stable configuration? Nitrogen shared it one electrons. If it is shared two electrons, then it should have more mm -hmm. electrons. But in these nitrate ions, this nitrogen share only one electron with the another oxygen. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like this. Yeah. So this nitrogen also already got a stable configuration. But what happened in this oxygen? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That means that it still need one electrons right so in this way only how they used to share electron and how these oxygens get a minus that means the charge of the nitrite ion is taken as the one negative minus that means that minus one right so like this here nitrogen share its electrons this one uh, sorry along with nitrogen and oxygen and here along with oxygen one bonding and it has two lone pair here okay and this oxygen carry negative charge. so together here we write this one as the NO2 minus okay so NO2 minus so this is how we can find out this one and uh, here you some of you comments here that is the NO2 it charge should be plus yes in this case this is not about the this is not a nitrate ions that is called as the what we call as a nitrite is not either this is, will be called as a nitronium ions or also we can call it as the nitrogen dioxide ions this is what it with this plus plus will get by sharing along with oxygens okay when oxygen share along with the two electrons then nitrogen will have the one more electrons extra so in this case this is called as the nitronium Ions, or it is also called as the nitrogen dioxide ions. Okay, so just we already understand that how it becomes the minus charge and all. Yeah. And the second question is uh, asked by the Sumiksa Bisnoi, and this is also same types of the question only. The how the minus charge. On the nitrite comes so that answer will be the same that of the previous uh, what I call that answer 
yeah. And the uh, second question, it asks that uh, this, it should have the positive charge. No, the answer is no. Yeah, if, if it is positive charge, that is not a nitrite ions. If it is the positive charge, that is called as the, what are called the nitronium ions, or also called as the nitrogen dioxide ions. And but the nitrite ion is different. That is the NO2, that should be the negative charge minus. Yeah, so this is the difference, All right? And another question again by the same students asks that uh, give the difference. What is the difference between the free radicals and the polyatomic ions? Okay, so here we have to know that free radicals. Okay, so this free radicals may be an atoms or you see the molecular species. Okay, and capable of the independent existence. And also we have to know that it has the unsure pairs of the electron. That is unsure electrons in its Atomos or vitals or simply we can say is that they are uncharged molecules. They do not have charge Okay, they are uncharged molecule, but having the unpure electron that means the balanced electrons Yeah, so they are very highly Unstable and also highly reactive. Yeah, another one is that here that is the polyatomic molecules, right? So polyatomic ions or the, uh, you see the polyatomic ions not. So polyatomic ions are formed by the what are called the polyatomic molecules. Polyatomic molecules as we know that it contains the more than one type. That means the more than one types of the atoms are present in the species just like hydroxide or AIDS like the sulfate SO4 and all. Okay, so they have charged particles, charged species on its body. Okay, so they are just simply we call as the polyatomic ions. Yeah, so this is the difference between the what are called the free radicals and the polyatomic ions. Yeah, students, so thanks for joining the class. Thanks for watching. And thank you, audience, especially the students community for your valuable suggestions and support. And in future also, I hope you will do the same. Thank you.